Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that comes right out of the 80s. It's named after the TV show Miami Vice, and that show is the first cop show that I ever saw, and I have huge fond memories of. Anyways, this cocktail is called the Miami Vice. And although it's simple, it's a little bit more complicated because you're taking two cocktails and you're putting them together. And we're actually going to layer them. So it's really simple, so let's get into it. I did say that we're gonna have two cocktails, but they're two simple and fantastic cocktails. One is a pina colada, the other is a strawberry daiquiri. And you know what? They're fantastic blended cocktails that are really easy to make. So grab your little blending stick. Now, you can use the full-size blender if you want, but I happen to have some smoothie cups. This just makes it easy for me, and it'll make it easier for you. So we're going to start with our first ingredient, which is some lime juice. And what we'll do is we'll squeeze in three quarters of an ounce, or 22 and a half milliliters. Beautiful. Now, we're actually gonna need this for the next part, so put this over here. The next thing you wanna do is add your cream of coconut. I will put the instructions on how to make this homemade cream of coconut down in the description down below for you. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Beautiful. You can't go wrong with a homemade cream of coconut. It actually saves you money too. The next thing you're going to use is some pineapple juice. Give it a shake. And I'm going to use some fresh pressed pineapple juice. And that means there's no extra sugar added. And we'll use the same again an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Yeah, pineapple juice, absolutely fantastic. Now, what you do need is a light rum, and we're going to use Plantation Three Star Rum here, and I love this stuff. It is fantastic. Now, what you can do, if you want to amp up the coconut taste, you could actually split the base here of the alcohol, and you could use half a coconut rum, but that's totally up to you because that'll also add a lot more sweetness. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to put this off to the side and we're going to grab the next smoothie cup. And this is actually perfect because I can do all the blending at one time so nothing melts and gets extra liquidy while we wait. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab four strawberries and these are pretty good strawberries. So if you have uh, smaller ones, you could add a little bit more. In this case, I'm just going to use four and we'll throw them in like so. Beautiful. Now, what we'll do is we'll put those in our thing, grab our half a lime, and what we need is another three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters, like so. Perfect. Now, the next thing you need is an aged rum. In this case, I'm using a Bacardi 10 year old rum, and we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Perfect, love this stuff. Now, some people will suggest that you use frozen strawberries. Totally up to you, you don't have to. It just sometimes makes blending a little easier. However, I'm going to use crushed ice. So what we're gonna do is just use about a cup and a half of crushed ice. All right, now what we're gonna do, slap our caps on, and we're just going to blend these up nicely until we get a nice consistency. And don't be afraid to uh, stop and check to make sure that you've got the consistency you want because you may need to add a little bit more in ice to give it that thicker consistency. So we'll just start like so. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> this is gonna be perfectly exactly what you want, trust me. Now, you could go a little thinner if you want or a little thicker. Uh, mine is actually really thick and maybe a little thicker than you want, but personal preferences here. Now we are going to layer this, but let me wipe this uh, 
down first, just make it nice and clean. And we will start with our uh, pina colada. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this in multiple steps. So come on in and let's take a look. Oh, look at that, fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we are going to garnish this with a couple of pineapple fronds like so. Look at that, that is a Miami Vice. Absolutely fantastic. Two great cocktails together and you know what? Oh, mm. Mm. this is perfect. You get two different rums, multiple different flavors and it's just exactly what you need on a hot day or just any day. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think I should do something different, please leave a comment. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And that way you will be notified when I put up another video. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rock because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.